Thank you very much, Tim. Back here at the Edmonton Fencing Club, I am joined by assistant coach Zachary. Zachary, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good. We just got back from nationals, so. Ooh, how did you guys do? Um, actually, really good. I think we had a couple of gold medals and then maybe some bronze and some silvers in different events. So. Now, how many people? How many people are in the Edmonton Fencing Club that went to nationals? Um, I think we had a total of 19 people that went to nationals. So that was good. And all ages? Yes, all ages. Right on. I'm glad you guys did really well because I don't know much about fencing. Up until last year, I've been calling these swords, but they're actually weapons, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. And I didn't know there are different kinds of uh, fencing as well. So can you explain what these weapons do and what they're for? Um, sure. We'll uh, start off with the foil. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one is actually the one that um, our coach fences, Juju Luan. This is the one that she got the gold medal in the 84 Olympics with and you have to hit with the tip with this one, okay? You have to put 500 grams of force. Let me feel how, it doesn't seem that bad, but I'm sure in competition, it's a lot different. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't hurt, but you know, it's, it's not quite there. And again, it's pretty bendable, okay? And only one person can score a point with this one. And is that anywhere on the body or just the um, jacket? Just the jacket, actually, I have target area right here for you. This is target oh, area for foil. Okay. Yes, the vest on so, the back and the front. Because it doesn't have any arms, if you hit the arm, that's not a point. Off target, exactly. That's exactly right. Ah, I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah. All good. right, what's uh, the next weapon do? The next one, we call it the epee. That's right. The here. epee? How do yes. you spell that? E P E E. Epee. Epee. Is that French? French for sword. There you go. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, with the epee, it's 750 grams. You want to feel that again? It's a bit harder, isn't it? It's a little harder, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I'm sure in competition, it would be more difficult to hit your target. Exactly, yeah. it is. With the epe, it's honestly the, most, the simplest one. Okay. Because I can teach you this in two minutes. Because you can hit anywhere on the body, and both people can score a point at the same time. Whereas foil and saber, only one person can score a point. You said that you can teach it to me easily, but I don't think you can. <laughs> we'll try, though. I could try. Okay, okay. And then now, so the last one? Finally. And this is the one that you specialize yeah, this, in? This is the one that I coach here at the club. This is called the saber. As you can see, there is no tip. Okay, so you can hit with any part of this weapon. You're slashing? Slashing, exactly. Slashing or stabbing, it's up to you. But any part of the weapon with this one. Okay, and I know that this might be a really weird question, but some people want to ask, uh, does it hurt when you slash or you hit somebody? No, not at all. Well, at un all. unless you swing too hard, but... At the fencing club, we, we try not to swing. I just heard that whip, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> please don't hurt me. <laughs> don't swing hard, especially against our coach. She's fragile, so. A lot of people uh, think that there needs to be a lot of force, but I guess it doesn't really need to be, hey? Just, no, uh, just no. enough to score yeah, your point. Exactly, right? Honestly, that is a point. What I just did against I you. can do that. Right That's there. not bad. I know, it's not bad. This is the target area for Sabre. This one that you're going to be fencing today. It's waist up, including the arms and the head. Head is target area, so watch out. Perfect. Okay, well, I'm scared, but I'm going to try my best to do it. We're going to have more from the Edmonton Fencing Club in a little bit. Stay tuned.